So today we're going to be talking about chocolate doom on a Raspberry Pi. So not going to a long history lesson, but Doom was originally released in 93. Vanilla Doom, that's what people like to call it. Untouched, you know, nothing changed, just the original release, that's Vanilla Doom. So a few years later, ID Software released the source code. Even before then, people were already, you know, doing some crazy stuff. But once the source code was released, it was on and cracking. People were doing little projects and whatnot. And that's what Chocolate Doom is, essentially. It's, it's, it's a project. Now, with Chocolate Doom, it didn't really change much from the base game. It didn't really touch anything to, to alter the actual game. What it does is, is it significantly changes how to run multiplayer games. And this is perfect and great on our Raspberry Pi. It makes it a heck of a lot easier to start a multiplayer game and for your buddy, whomever, to jump in and get that party started. So that's what we're talking about today. I'm going to be installing this on my Pixel desktop on the Raspberry Pi 3, but this should also work through the terminal and, and RetroPie as well. But, like I said, I'm doing it through Pixel. It works this way, but you could also install it through RetroPie if you so chose. So, let's go ahead and get this party started. <laughs> Okay, so to start on our desktop, we're going to go ahead and open up the terminal. Now on our terminal, we're going to want to install our dependencies because of our, our Pi is going to need certain programs to compile Chocolate Doom. So within your terminal, you're going to go ahead and type in sudo space apt dash get space install space lib sdl dash mixer 1.2 dash dev space lib sdl dash net 1.2 dash dev space python dash imaging then you're going to hit enter all these directions i'm not going to read them all out loud they will all be step by step listed in the description and you can refer back to the video to make sure you're doing everything correctly and you can also take a look. I make a couple mistakes here and there, typos. Um, you just really pay attention to that. But I do fix them as I'm doing it because obviously it won't let me progress if I accidentally type in setup instead of setup, which you'll see later on. But once this gets down to this spot, it's going to ask you to press Y to proceed. Go ahead and press Y, hit enter, and let that bad boy run. So now our next step is going to be downloading and extracting Chocolate Doom. So in this, this part, you might want to go to the website www.chocolate-doom.org and take a look at their downloads. Go to source and find out what is the newest version. Go to the download and then just copy and paste the address for that download. This one is uh, doom2.3.0 might be different by the time you do this so you'd like to check that out so then the next step once the file has downloaded we're going to extract it using tar t-a-r so you're going to type exactly what i got here dependent upon which chocolate doom version you have downloaded so you type that in hit enter and then boom good to go with that part so then our next step is going to be compiling Chocolate Doom. So from there, we're going to want to change our directory to the Chocolate Doom version that we just downloaded. So you're going to go ahead and type that in. CD Chocolate Doom, whatever version. Get into that directory. And then from there, we're going to want to run the config. So sudo space dot forward slash configure and then let that run 
Now, next step is to go ahead and run sudo make. And that should take a quick moment. Now that that's complete, and it should, it'll take a few minutes, you're going to want to do sudo make install and let that bad boy run through. And then we're good. Next step is going to be downloading our WAD files, or where's all the data files. So on this, you might have to search for a shareware version of Doom. I'll put the link in the description for where I got it. But once that's done, you're going to go ahead and unzip that, that zip file that you just downloaded of Doom. Even, even a, do, a Google search of this will find it. So once that's done and you've unzipped, easy peasy, you're going to run your Doom setup. And right here is where I made a typo. I typed in setup instead of setup. <clears throat> I didn't notice that right away, but after it not doing anything, I noticed it and then changed it to setup. And once you do that, this little window will pop up and this you can you can go ahead and change your controls. You can set up a, a, a joystick or a controller, set up your mouse or keyboard. There's a lot of little options you can do in here. You can also set up your net play through here. Um, if you do your net play, no matter if you're going over the internet or a local area network, you, one person has to act as a server and host the game. And with that, you would have to set up on both of your routers or firewalls, the UDP port 2342 must be open. So that's pretty simple to do. And then you can go ahead and set up your multiplayer game from there. And now, whenever you want to run Chocolate Doom, you're going to go into your terminal and you'll type in chocolate dash doom space dash wad space doom one dot wad and then hit enter and the game will boot right up. Good to go. But like I said earlier, if you want to do your multiplayer, you will run the setup and go through that. So, I hope that helped. Hope this was of interest to you guys. Appreciate you watching. Smash that like button if you could. Subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. And I'll catch you guys next time. Boom!